Are you going live? I am going live. I'm here. Hello, my inky friends. It's Cindy Lynn and Todd. We got the Todd. We got the Todd. <laughs> Look at everybody. If you are just tuning into the replay, skip forward <clears throat> eight minutes, and that's when the stream will start. But yay, Todd is helping. Um, I'm gonna go over a few things and say hi to everybody. I'm gonna I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. I am pooped. I am pooped. I started moving into my studio this morning. <laughs> so I have got, um, I've got all my ribbon done. Um, I've got all my cards up. I have, I have a big wall thing for cards. I got that done. And then I started, I labeled it all and everything. And then I started getting all my cardstock and I'm, I've got my, my cardstock that come in, you know, the gummed kind of things. And then I've got my plain, colored cardstock and I'm just working on my textured cardstock. So I'm like, yay. So go easy on me. Yes. I am like, I thought, you remember when you were young, you could pack your house, get that U-Haul, get to the new place, unpack till two in the morning, get up at six and do it all again. And the next day you were like unpacked, you were done. Holy moly. <laughs> I'm not 20 anymore. So we got Cheryl Lee and Katie and Marcy and Re. Oh, Hold on. Renee. <laughs> Renee. I had to remember. Renee, our channel member. Look at all our channel members in here. Deborah and Sheila, Melissa, Dana, and I hope I don't miss anybody. Pammy and Sharon. Sharon, I haven't seen you in forever. I'll get to see all the besties face to face at the end of the month. I'm looking forward to that. I might even be streaming that from the new studio. I don't know. If you if you see a video and you see all of that, but there's nothing there. <laughs> if you see me and there's nothing behind me, just a green wall, I'm in the new studio. Because I don't know how long it's going to take me to get all my stuff up there. But um, what is channel memberships, you ask? We are, you guys, I have an announcement. We are over. Are you ready for this? Are you sitting down? You might want to sit down. You might want to get like hold your jaw because it might fall too. We are over 120 channel members. I am just blown away. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for joining my channel. What do you get when you join the channel? If you join at Inky Buddy, you get a Friday free for all. That's the first Friday of the month where I do whatever the free for all I want. You get a stamp and chat. It's the second Saturday of the month, which will be this weekend and it will be filmed here. I don't know how empty this is going to be. And I got some stuff happening on Sunday. Todd's going away this weekend. Why don't you guys, why don't you guys let him know what you think about him going away and leaving me all by myself to do all this all my myself this weekend. Inky besties. Inky Besties, when you join the channel, you get those two videos I told you about, and you get a class, a master class, and this month, hold your horses, alcohol ink markers, Copic markers, and I'm going to go through, I'm going to tell you guys what we're going to go through. We're going to go through how to start your collection, the difference between chow and sketch, the what the letters and the numbers mean, inventory and swatching. I've got some free swatches for you guys. They're on my website under classes, myinkyfingers.com slash classes website and oh i didn't update i didn't update my members today i didn't update the members and where is my last week's it's not scrolling and in, okay yes my my class here sorry 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 i got a million things going through my mind finding the best color combinations and I don't even know what, what that short form is that I wrote there. Learn how to blend colors and choosing the best images to color. Um, hmm. Your coloring order, how to choose paper, cope with care, how to refill and change your tips. And I've got a bunch of other things in here. I've got a bunch of other things in here that I'm going to have to figure out what I wrote because it's all, it's all chicken scratch. It's terrible. And then Inky Besties also get at the very last, okay, classes, by the way, are the third Sunday of the month. Last Friday of the month is face-to-face. -face. We all get on the Zoom. It's not Zoom. It's through Google, and it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. 
And the girls are, they're, you guys got to go easy on me this month because they're a bad influence. You guys should see how late they keep me up. I mean, we're only supposed to be there a few hours and we're there till the wee, wee hours in the morning, I tell you. But somebody better bring donuts this time. Now, I have a new thing I got to tell you guys about. I am so super excited. If you're part of the card kit crafters Facebook group. That's my Facebook group. If you're not part of it, the link is down below because you are going to want to join. We have got card kit companies that have card kits sending me card kits to show you, but also giving me something to give you. <laughs> so I'm going to shout out to Pink and Main. They are sending me a kit and I'm going to unbox that on my YouTube channel, but I'm also going to do a live unboxing on the Facebook and Pink and Main is going to allow me to do a giveaway so that one of you can win the kit. And then the Stamps of Life. And I don't know if you've seen their kits. Their kits are cute. So they are sending me a kit to show you guys. And they are offering as a giveaway for three months in a row a $50 gift card for their website. I mean, hello. So shout out to Pink and Main and shout out to the Stamps of Life. I have um, a couple leads on a couple other ones. I've been talking to some companies. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag because you don't want to jinx it, right? But if you're not part of that card kit crafters, you want to run over there because you're definitely going to want to get in on those freebies. And who's going to be awake to watch? Why did I write that? Who's going to be awake to watch? I'm such a scatterbrain, you guys, today. I'm just, I'm fried. Thank goodness I know what I'm doing with my cards. So I remember last week someone asked me if I got a card from them, and the answer is still no, in case you're asking. I apologize. I have not. And I checked the mail a couple days ago. I was out seeing Dad uh, a couple days ago, so I did check the mail. But I think... I think I should show you guys what we're making. Oh, I got to find. Oh, yes, that's right. I got to find and show you guys the case card someone sent me so that you guys know where I got my inspiration from. And I think I screenshotted it. I got to get some organization down for this. So every week I pick a holiday. Oh, that's next week. That's why I'm missing all my notes here. Okay. Stamp and chat Saturday, Copic class on Sunday. Okay, there they are. So let me show you the card. Is Todd being friendly with you guys? I know I love pink and main kits too. Is he being friendly with all you guys over there? Albums, screenshots. Okay, here. So on Instagram, um, I'm not, I, I, I can't remember who tagged me. I, I want to give you a shout out. So let me give you a shout out here. Filter tags and mentions. They go away after a while. These things. Okay, here we are. Stampin underscore my underscore stash tagged me case it. She says, and this is the card I'm going to case. Okay. You guys see that? All right. So casing copy and selectively edit meaning you just get some inspiration i looked at it i was like okay it's got two or three layers it's got a circle it's got an animal so you know what i have that image in my head and i find that the best way to case is to not necessarily stare at that card because if you're not staring at that card then you've just, or even draw it down, like draw it on a piece of paper and then you got your little rectangle and your circle and then, you know, a little oval for your whatever and then your sentiment. So with that being said, I started, if you guys watched, the video is linked below, my DIY stencil butters. I took um, just some random stencil here. I have, I don't know, I think I got it on Amazon or something. Um, craft treat it had this um honeycomb on it okay so i don't have a lot of stencils i mean if there's any companies out there watching me and you want to send me some stencils i'm all about stencils because next month 
we're going to make some stencils this month, by the way. That is still happening. That video is still coming. And next month is a stencil masterclass. So if you're a company and you're watching, you want to send me some stencils, then we can feature your stencils in that masterclass. But what I did is I went and I did the ombre. Okay, you guys remember how I did the ombre with the pink? I just used a reinker and I started with yellow and then I added more just to make it really dark. Todd's waving at me. Catherine wants to know how much the kits are in the U.S. The kits, how much they... Well, if you go over to the group, Catherine, you can actually see them on the Facebook page. You can click the links and then you can go see how much they are. But they're um, they're very reasonable. I actually was ordering the kit, the pink main kit and paying for it myself. So back to this. I've got this ombre, okay? So yellow and then I added some more. And then I had to do this ahead of time, you guys, because I wanted it to be dry, right? And then I just cut a mat because I find that if I left it like this, it just didn't really have anywhere to end, okay? So there's my two pieces of paper because the other card had two pieces of paper, okay? So then what I decided, he he, I decided I was gonna do a wreath, okay? So the wreath, I just cut this out. It was a Stampin' Up! wreath builder. So I'm gonna show you though, this is a die, okay? So I'm going to show you really quick here. I'm going to zoom in. Todd, can you remember to remind me when I'm not coloring anymore to zoom out? Okay. There we go. Okay, so I have got YG25. I have got G24. And I have got G28. Now... I am going to break all the rules here, okay? Because I always tell you guys, lightest to darkest and then work your way back to the lightest. I'm breaking all the rules because this is a, it's leaves, okay? And I just, I want to get through it. I don't want to be here all night. I'm not looking for anything fancy schmancy because this is not the focal point of this card. No one's going to know the wiser. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do three at a time. So I'm going to go up the stems and then I'm just going to curve around the leaf like a V. So I'm just doing this around the leaf, okay? And then I'll come in with the light and I'm just going to put a little bit of light in the middle just to kind of, you know, get it saturated. And now I'm just going to do the stems very carefully with the 28. And then I'm going to make a smaller V coming up here, okay? Smaller V. And then I'm going to go backwards here with my medium making sure I got my medium and I don't necessarily have to spend a lot of time blending that out because you guys can see you can really see the very like the variation in colors and I'm fine with that it's just some leaves right we're not we're not going for perfection here so again I'm going to do them in threes because it just goes super quick so your little wreaths and different things like even hearts if you had a heart on a page you could do the same kind of concept right just color your outsides a little on the inside and oopsie we're which way are we going this way oh and I forgot to put my dark here so let's go back in and this is a um, Copic coloring right now so there's no looking at my fingernails allowed because mama hasn't done her nails <laughs> at all oh <gasps> I know who it was. Who no, said it? No one did. Oh. <laughs> Todd goes, that's what someone just said on the thing. I'm like, I know who it is. I know I know who my girls are that pick on me. Okay, and then up to the next ones. And I'm going to do all of them this time here because there's only four left, right? So, whoops. I'm an animal. Do you guys do that? Knock stuff all over your table? I'm knocking it all everywhere. So here, and then a little V. We'll do this stem here, and then a little V, and then a little V. So you can see that the variation in the colors here is um, quite predominant, but that's okay. We're not going for perfect lifelike, right? I probably shouldn't have colored that right through the middle, but that's all right. So there we go. Let me put these caps on. Now, I chose to do two because I did one. And I just kind of felt like it kind of fell a little bit flat. I didn't really like it. So I did a second one because I just kind of wanted it a little bushier. I have to tell you guys, if you are a bestie, 
I am going to, <laughs> at the end of the month, I'm going to play you a video. This woman got a book called, it's a children's book, okay? It's a children's book. Don't yell at me. This book is called Brenda's Beaver Needs a Barber. <laughs> and this is the funniest freaking book I've ever heard. I'm going to play it for the besties at the end of the month. And you um, bring bring poise, depends, whatever, whatever you need. Um, you don't, you can eat cake that day because you're going to laugh so hard. You're going to at least burn off, you know, 1500 calories because your stomach is going to hurt so bad. It is hilarious. Now, what I want to do here, kind of going in tune with my little wreathy thing. And if you guys have seen that one, oh, I make it look so easy. <laughs> It's not, you know what? Practice makes perfect. And these, cut it out on some copy paper first. And just, you know what I mean? By the time you get around there, you're going to be like, holy cow, this is easy. So I know I want my wreath here. I've got this already cut and embossed. Thank God I did so much today because I'll tell you what, today has been crazy. Now, I want to show you guys a little trick. I am going to be busting out the Primas. Hashtag Prima. Hello, Prima. Cindy Lynn here. I love your flowers. I would love some new ones, but I'm going to show you a little trick with these because where are my snippers? I'm not sure where my snippers went. We'll use these ones. Good thing I have multiple pairs. And you know what the nice thing is when I get downstairs, they'll be, everything will be so organized, so perfect for the first six months. I'll know where nothing is because you know how that goes. All right, now what I want to do is I want these little mini micro brads on like to be in here. Now, yes, you can use a little gem. Oh, thanks for reminding me to zoom out here, babe. Zoom out, babe. Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, so you can use a little gem or something here in the middle, and that's perfectly fine. But, you know, I am going to complicate things and get this little micro brad in here that doesn't want to go. Why don't you want to go? Because he's bent open here. Let's bend them closed. There we go. So I'm going to get this through here. Thank God I have no nails. Is that... <laughs> now, I'm going to open it up, but I have no nails, so it's going to take even longer. I'm When I'm finally in the studio, I'm going to treat myself, and I'm going to go get a manicure. Now, your little brad sticks out here, so this is where your little thingies come in handy. Now, when you go to cut these, put them over top of your little bin so that that little piece falls in your little Rachel Ray tray or whatever it is you put all your little scraps on because you know what I'm talking about when that lands on the floor. You know what you're going to do. You're going to step on it and then you're going to have some very colorful words for me because I taught you to do this. <laughs> or maybe I didn't teach you, but you know, you knew how to do it, but you're now you remember, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, so the second one, I'm going to do the same thing. And I just f find that when you put these little centers in your primas, it just brings them to life. And I got to tell you guys, wait a second. I'm going to show you a picture, okay? I am going to show you a picture. Oh, I shouldn't show you this. I should make you wait till my studio tour, but I can't. I have to share with you guys. I am going to, I'm going to bring back pattern paper. I am going to start a new rave, rave, rage. A rave. No, a rave is like one of those bad parties, right? We're going to start a rage. Yeah. We're going to start a new trend. We are going to, we are going to get every pattern paper sold out. Everybody's going to be like getting it because I went, you want to, okay, I got to show you guys this. You ready? This is my new card wall. Okay. See that? And up at the top, up, ooh, where are we up here? The second row down is all of my cards, the firsts that I made from my digital stamp company. But um, Trisha, she wants to be an Inky Buddy. Welcome to the Inky Buddies. And anyway, I went and labeled all of this today, but I was pulling out some cards. I got some pattern paper and I was like, dang, I miss playing with pattern paper on my cards. So we are going pattern paper all the way. And I was on the Cricut website. I don't know how this keeps happening to me, you guys. Stuff just falls like into my shopping cart. And like I just go to leave and all of a sudden I'm like toting all this stuff. And uh, you, I, I won't tell you how many times my Amazon boyfriend's been by because you know who is here. But I got a maker. 
so with the maker and the other stuff and oh we got we're going to be making some stuff let me tell you okay i'm playing around here but i know where everything's going to go so let's put this on now these ones i want to lay them flat because i have got dimensionals on everything else okay so these i don't want everything going crazy on my card so i'm going to lay those flat and honey yeah. when you see like big green or big colored bars like what trisha just did mm -hmm. you gotta like be like yeah trisha woo woo, woo. you know can you do a woo woo louder <laughs> okay so these you know me i don't like to cement anything down i'm just gonna put enough that Mm, tweezers where where do, you know do you guys have that thing from michael's you know that thing that turns around i got it and ugh, i can never find anything in it number one it's way up there i gotta put it on the new table where it'll be down here but i can never find anything in it because it's up so dang high and then stuff gets packed in there and stuff's hiding behind other things i thought it was genius to get it but i don't know i don't know i want to i want to hear what you guys have to say and Todd, let me know what everybody says if they have that Michael's tourney. It looks like a big octagon or I don't know how many sides is there. I guess it's a sixagon. How many gons are in a, in a, or how many sixes are in a gon? Which gon is that? Hexagon, octagon. No, an octagon's eight. Todd? What? <laughs> he doesn't listen to me either. How many is six? What do you call it? It's not an octagon. Hexagon. It's a hexagon? Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so let's get this kind of there. Okay, so here we go. So as you can see, you don't always have to go exactly. Where's my screenshots? Do, do, do. Where's my screenshots gone? There they are. You don't always have to go exactly. Now, I'll be more professional in the future and I'll put these cards on Hobby the screen Lobby. for you guys. Hobby Lobby. Yeah, Hobby Lobby. I don't, you know what? That You guys make me so jealous. So yeah, like, jealous. We don't most, have Hobby Lobby. Most people don't have room on the desk, so stop showing off when you get down in your thing. Studio. Well, you know, I don't mean to show off and everything, but my table is 5 by 10. <laughs> Okay, I have earned that table, I tell you. I have. I have been so cramped on this little five, four by three or whatever it is. Yeah, no more of that. Okay, so our bees. I'm looking at where my other bees are. And let's get our little honey bees all on here. Now, I colored the bees, and all I did, you can see here, focus for me, please. It doesn't want to focus because of all this behind it. Here we go. There we go. So you can see with the B, well, I guess you can't really see. You'll have to wait for the pictures because he's dark on the outside and light on the inside and then a tiny little bit of gray and then blend it out on the uh, wings there, right? Or, yeah, their wings, on his little wings. And, of course, this was all cut out on my brother because we're in love. He's awesome. He's treating me good. We're not having any issues or arguments or anything. We're getting along. Hun, yes, you should be more like the brother. The brother. Yeah, because I get along with that really well. Yeah. Now, we're going to use our glue dots. I got two cards for you, too. And I have no idea where I got the idea for I think I just came up with the other one be, yeah I came up with the other one because of the holiday so the holiday for this one I'm just going to make a little booger ball out of my um glue dot do, do, do Copics work on colored card stock for example would you cut out the wreath in the light green card stock then use the darker copies for dimension uh, I don't see why you couldn't try that. I mean, you'd probably want at least two darker ones, and that's actually not a terrible idea. Um, I do find colored cardstock. Now, you're going to think, what does she mean by that? I picture cardstocks like soft and hard, and I'm going to explain all of that in, yes. in my um, class. But you just what you're looking for is... 
whether the, the, the alcohol ink marker soaks into the paper. And if it soaks too much, then it's going to bleed out, right? So just, I would give it a shot and just go gentle, you know, slow, go bit by bit. And if someone says yes, and they probably have a certain type of cardstock, you should probably let her know what type of cardstock you're using because all cardstocks differ. So I'm going to go into that in great detail um, in, the, in the Copic Masterclass about coloring on cardstock because... You know, for foiling, not all cardstock is the same. It's the same for Copic coloring. And if you are struggling with your Copic coloring, I suggest coming to that masterclass because you're going to learn so much and it could be your paper. And I'm going to explain how to get rid of that problem, right? So here we go. Now let me grab some of my awesome little, these are stamped up and I love them. They're artistry in bloom, but I'm obsessed with them because they are adhesive backed and I want these orangey ones so I'm going to pick out a big one for here oh, let's do that there and a little one actually you know what I can see this little one here is quite orangey like with a little bit of tinge of red in it so I'm going to go with that one and then this one some of them are different hues right actually you know what this one's really dark here so let's go with that one Go with that one there and we're going to put a little one we're going to tuck it a little bit under his head and then one more big one uh, let's go there and this one doesn't look right now it's too dark let's go over here there all righty are you yawning mr todd it's nap time someone would think you worked all day or something okay my little black dimensionals and all I'm going to do now is cut a strip and I'm going to I was going to do this I'm going to show you guys what I was going to do I was going to put the sentiment all the way in because I felt like with the one wreath it was just too small but then when I added the second wreath I was like no I don't have that problem now so I'm going to snip that little end off and then I'm going to cut a piece there Jay's whatever card stock I haven't got on hand Whatever cardstock oh, she has on paper. hand. Patty what? Patterned paper. Patterned paper. I've only ever colored on white myself, but I'm sure you can color on whatever your heart desires. And the more experienced you are, the more you'll know what papers are good and which ones aren't, right? Color dark blue and dark blue. Can't hurt to try. It's all about experimenting. All right, so here... We'll stick this little guy. Now, I want this to end on the white. I don't want this to end on my matte color. So I'm going to stick that there. And it's a little oblong because, you know, it's sitting on the wreath, and that's okay. I'm not going to worry too much about it. So I'm going to put my little glue on here. This is just Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue in a um, fine tip bottle. And I forgot to link them, but... Every single one of my other videos has it. And my kit.co has it as well, which I don't know why. Oh, how come these are all in different? How come these are like together? Oh, my website's up there, but it's disappeared. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, all right. So there's my kit.co. So if you want to find those little needle tip bottles, they are in the... They're either in tools or inky concoctions because I'm always concocting things, but they're probably in tools. And that's why I love this Tombow because it's got a little bit of wiggle room. So let's put this on our card and then I'm going to show you the other one. So this one was Employee Appreciation Day and that is on March 4th. So there is a fun reason to make a card. And if you do not have employees, you know somebody who is an employee. Everybody knows someone who's an employee. Give them an employee appreciation card. Doesn't You don't have to be their boss, right? So I appreciate you. I mean, and here's another reason. Your favorite person at the grocery store, your favorite person at the gas station, it's employee appreciation day. Everybody knows someone who is an employee, all right? So... I feel like this doesn't look right. It's not straight. That's another reason why I like Tombow. And another reason why I don't glue things down. <laughs> I cement them down. So I didn't think that was straight enough. So I'm going to redo it. 
I don't do that too often, but it happens. Dollar Tree. What's on at the Dollar Tree? The dollar, it's, yeah, the Dollar Tree is the Dollar Tree. But did you guys notice in my video for the Dollarama, I put the fours over it and it became the four dollar rama because it's not the dollar rama, it's the four dollar rama. Valentine's Day is coming Monday. Does anybody have any great you got you got you guys should give Todd ideas. Cause he hasn't been shopping yet. You should give him Valentine ideas. Shopping well, you're not going shopping tonight, you're helping no. me. He's helping me with my studio. Okay, hey, so it used to be secret. They might still have a secretary's day. My Amazon boyfriend. Okay, so there is one other one. And can you write on your piece of paper to remind me to tell them what this card is for? The holiday? Todd? Hold on. But you'll write it, right? What am I going to write? Just write, remind me to tell me what this holiday is. Thank you. Okay, here. I've got a bunch of stuff here. And I did my insert and envelope for this one, and I didn't do my insert and envelope for the other one, but that's okay. I am going to show you guys what I did. So I linked for you guys the um, Ocean Motion dies. There's three of them. I have the Slimline Ocean. They're ex I was going to say they're expired. They're retired, but um, the this, this Ocean Motion will do the same thing. If you have a Cricut, it'll do the same thing. And a pair of scissors will do the same thing too. And all I did was two colors of blending, and I used... I'll tell you what I used. I didn't write them down, but I know exactly which tumbled glass because I always use tumbled glass and prize ribbon. So those are the two I used here. And as you can see, the blending is not perfect and I wanted it exactly like that. Okay, so I'm going to put this one together and show you why I did this one and what it's for, but I have no idea what I was doing here. <laughs> I have no memory of what I was going to do here. Okay, I was going to do that and that, and then this was going to be, this was going to go here, and then she was going to go in the boat, but oh, that's right, I was going to do a square out of these guys with these, but I should just do a frame. I'm just going to do a frame, so I'm going to cut out of here a frame just to stick on the top of the card, and I'm going to show you why, okay? I'm going to show you why if you if you struggle with scene cards so this here you just take your thing and cut it out three times right so that was just three times done so I struggle with scene cards I'm not the these these girls I mean Chrissy gets crafty you want to see a girl color up some scene cards that girl she can do any scene card but if you notice here my little oh we're going to start this game are we there you are. Don't you go anywhere. Now, Norse Day is was on clearance at Pink and Main, okay? And it the bundle, I don't know why the bundle was on clearance and then it sold out. And then there was the stamp set that sold out and there's only the dies left. And I don't think I could find another place that had it for you guys. Um, no, I didn't because I couldn't link it. I couldn't find somewhere else that had it. So I apologize. It sold out before... Uh, the live tonight, right? But you could do this with any girl. All you need is a girl, okay? And you'll understand why I went with this one for her. So if you see here, I could do, you know, the whole um, sky, blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, but I just feel like if I kind of do this, bring a frame in there, put this on top of my frame, and then these clouds, you know what I do? I have a whole bunch of different shapes of clouds and I cut them on an eight and a half by 11 sheet in my Cricut. You could probably do it in your brother too. I'll see if I can't um, get the SVG to share with you guys. You just cut them all out at once and get those little itty bitty baggies and label them small, medium and large. And then bam, you've got your clouds all the time, right? So I want to mat this on the silver, but I may as well take this and make a frame out of it, right? So let's lay this one down. And then making a frame is basically just eyeballing. I got tape, I do. Eyeballing and making sure that, you know, you got a, about the same all the way around. The sameness 
all the way around and then tape it, you know, crazy glue it, get lots of tape going. No, I don't want that one because that'll stick really bad. Get lots of tape going down there so it doesn't move. And there we go. I'm going to run this through my Gemini. <clears throat> People have been asking if I'm going to put my cutting um, station closer to me on the new work table. And, whoopsie. The answer is no. Wait until you see my marker storage. That's why. I won't have room. And it's like, all I do is sit. I mean, I have to burn, what, five calories when I, when I die cut something? So, you know, if I die cut four things in a day, every calorie counts, right? All right, now, this piece would be fun also to put on the inside or put it in your stash, save it for another project because I was just basically after this wreath. And I'm going to show you how this card is going to come together now. So you are going to go away. All right, so let's glue these pieces. And I'll tell you what the holiday is. And anybody who's got any little woman stamp, you've got it. You've got it. You're going to be good. Any girl stamp. And I chose this one because she's kind of she's kind of perfect for this. Does anybody have any type warrior type? Um... Tag you on Pinterest. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. I love it when you guys send me ideas. And I've got next week's um, already done, and I'm working on the week after that because Mama needs some time off. <laughs> i got to try and get ahead so that I can get this studio moved. I don't know. I don't know. This is a big job. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, my. My, my, my. Okay, so here... Now, do you notice I'm only putting my glue in the middle? I'm not putting it all on my waves. Because if I put it on the waves, then I can't tuck my little my little boat in here, right? So, and I want to make sure that I'm tucking them, you know, right in there. And, oh, oh, wait, you got to come down. Oh, you all might have to come down. Get down here. There we go. Oh, more, more, more. That's another good reason to not to not to have a good glue that'll move, right? Okay, there we go. Now we shall cut these off. And I have a little bit of exposed glue, but that's okay because actually I have to show you guys something. I got something. And every time I use these, I feel like a big girl. I feel like I'm all grown up now because I now have a pair of these scissors. <laughs> small things in life. Michaels, you can't find them online. They were like $33 or something back in the, you know, that section. And every time I cut with them, I'm like, oh, I'm so grown up. I have big scissors. I'm like, yay. I can just go all the way down my card. It's, it's the junk journaling because you got to use scissors, right? So it's the junk journal girl in me. I don't know who she is, but she's like, she's out and ready to play all the time. That girl is. I mean, scissors, no, no trimmers. And I'm, I don't know who she is, but we shall put those up there. I love those. All right. Now this piece is going to go back here, but we don't need to put that on yet. Let's put a little bit of glue. Well, let's figure out our frame really quick because I don't want... You're going to sit in front of the frame. So all I'm going to do is just put a teeny little bit of glue here just to hold him in here. So in there, in here, and he can even be kind of, you know, in motion. That's fine. And then her, she's, I didn't even color her boots because she's going to be in the boat because this card, I'll tell you guys, does anybody want to guess what the holiday is? Let's do that. Does anybody want to guess? It's not a holiday. It's a fun reason to make a card. It's an occasion. Does anybody want to guess? And I want you to tell me, Todd, what the... Where did all my windows go? Am I still streaming? Am I still here? Where is everyone? Oh, I, how did I close that internet out? Well, that's good to know that I can close the internet page where I'm streaming from and... It doesn't stop streaming. 
that's actually I think I had to restart one night and it didn't kick me out of the stream either so how do I get back to you guys though manage oh here we go week six. Oh, there we are we're live okay there's my chat all right so does anybody want to guess I'm gonna go and I'm gonna tell Todd what it is in his ear hold on Okay, <laughs> I had to whisper. So this woman here, she's got the stay strong, you've got this, and the little gold or silver frame. And this, I think what we have to do, we have to put some dimensionals on here. And I think I might even go this here. Oh my God, the table will never shake again. You could all, I actually said the other night, Every single channel member could come to my house. We could all sleep on the table, you know, like pigs in tandem, you know, tail to nose, tail to nose, however, all the way down the table. And then when we got up in the morning, we could all, we could have a slumber party on it and just like jump up and down with pillows and everything. The thing will not move. I'm telling you, an earthquake could come and it will not move. It is not moving ever, ever, ever. So who did lots of people guess the holiday, Todd? Charlene, Lisa, Charlene Chu, yeah. and who? And Lisa Curry. Lisa, Lisa Curry. Okay, yeah, it's yeah. International Women's Day is coming up, and, uh, and I think women, girls, we gotta stick together. We gotta empower one another. I had a very empowering conversation the other night. Empowering as a woman, empowering as a creator, and. Oh, I have been seen, you guys. I have been seen. So I, I got some exciting stuff coming up for you. I'm excited to tell you guys about. But you know me. I got to drop the crumbs. I got to give you a little tidbit. And I'm going to tell you something else. You know what I've learned? Until something's carved in stone and it's actually like carved in stone, I just can't say anything. Because things, you know, I say things and then it doesn't come to fruition. And then I'm like, ah, you know how it is. You don't want to jinx things, right? But international women's day so there those are the um foam strips from stampin up uh they're spendy but they're pre-cut and they're good and that's i'm getting down to the last of them so i will be using my scotch tape and i'll be cutting them myself um yeah but that's okay oh denise there she there's denise denise got it too all right so let's put this now if you really struggle with getting stuff straight, you can always pull out a T-square ruler just to give you a guide. And let's see. I'm just going to go for it. I'm, I'm going to get my head in the way. Sorry, you're going to have to deal with my bun here for a second. I'm just going to go for it right about there. Oh, that's not straight. That's straight. Lift you up. Eat. Eat. Okay. There we go. We've got lots of waves going on here. Perfect. And you know what? I think I'm even going to put the sentiment down here. I might even put it down here like this. Or this side. Yep. Hein, that was 10 seconds ago. <laughs> it's like your hair is getting in the way. I said it was going to get in the way. All right. Now I'm going to cut a little strip here for our sentiment for International Women's Day. Now you got to kind of remember here because you've got under the, under the S 24, 42. Okay. So the S and the T, I don't want anything under there. So I'm going to do a little itty bitty piece here and then I can make a gap because am I off the screen? I am. Let's move up. Which side's my S on? This side. Okay, so let's put this. Whoopsie, that all came right off like nobody's business. Let's make sure. Yep, I still got space. Now we'll do a gap. No yawning. No yawning, you. All right. Someone would think like he worked all day. Or I worked all day. He sat on his butt on a computer. 
And you know what's really odd is now we're in the same area. So I have to try to be quiet because I feel like I'm disturbing him. But there's a lot of arguing going on with, with his job. I'm like, sounds like a therapy appointment. Like, is everybody's telling each other off and, you know, it's IT, right? So everybody's arguing. Now, just a tip. This stuff is not as thick as this stuff. So that's going to be a problem that I did not foresee. So I knew that they are not the same thickness, but I totally forgot. So do you guys know what I mean? The thickness of these are thicker than the thickness of those little guys. So um, this irritates me though, because I can't have a white strip under a black piece of paper. And if you've been following me, you're one of my OGs, you know what I'm going to pull out now because I cannot, under any circumstances, where's the stamp and write marker? I don't want to use my good Tombow. Ugh, I was going to use a stamp and write marker because they're not really good for anything else. <laughs> I don't know where it is, so I'm going to use my Tombow, so I'm going to be very careful. But I'm going to color the sides here because I don't like that and actually you know what i gotta give it to stampin up because stampin ups is really black here like it it makes it much darker than the tombow does but that's okay because that's not what this marker is actually for so i just don't like being able to see that um i know that nobody lays the card down and looks but i know are you like that you know so you just got to kind of go that little extra mile I'm thinking about two. I want to see a thumbs up. I want to see a thumbs up if you guys are for this. I have been, for the last little while when I've been making cards, I have been writing down all of my little finishing touch pro master, you know, uh, taking your card to the next level type thing. All those little things I do when I'm finishing my card once it's done, I've been writing them all down. And I'm wondering if that is something that you guys would be excited about to see an actual class that's just all mastering the finishing touches on your cards. Let me know. I want to see a thumbs up if that's like a yay. Or if you're like, nah, I'm good. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Totally just say, don't thumbs down though. That's bad. Like just put like dashes or something like or sad faces. We don't want a thumbs down. <laughs> But you can thumbs up on the video while you're there, too. No, thumbs up. Melissa. We've got a couple. Couple. I just grabbed a random blue because I think I grabbed my dark, though. Um, no, that's my light one. I just want to do a tiny, tiny, soft little bit on the bottom of my clouds. I don't know why I'm going to choose the bottom just because. Because I just want to give them a little bit of... Is this a stuff on there? No, it's good. A little bit of something, something. Now these, same problem. I'm going to have to stick with the same. I'm going to have one on the inside though. So the inside one, I can use a little dimension. I'll be getting lots of thumbs up on that one. one oh, look at them all. <laughs> okay. So I will keep writing my notes down. And we will at some point in the future do a master class for all the finishing touches. Like all the little doodahs, hoo-hahs, and all the, um, Heather had a good word for it the other night. I can't remember what word she called it. It's a Laura Basson word, the word that she used. It was pretty good, actually. Now I can't remember. Actually, let's put this one a little further down. Where are my other tweezers? These ones are, so oh, there they are. These are my favorite. I like the Fiskars ones for, um, or EK Success, for gluing but these ones I find they're not as pokey and they don't the Cricut ones don't scratch and leave marks on my stamps or whatever I'm using right so this one let's see where we got to put these pieces so we're gonna go I think this one will work what are you doing there come here come over here perfect and then we'll put a little bit of glue yep we're good are you learning mr. mr. Todd Mr. Inky Fingers. 
we're getting Todd a little more comfortable and familiar because he we're going to be making some other videos. Yeah. Yeah. All I got to do now, you guys, is teach that man how to edit, and I am golden. <laughs> I'm golden. All right. So there, that's all I'm going to do. That is it. That is all. I'm going to glue it up. Oh, that's a lie. I'm going to take the whimsy. I was going to take the whimsy. I guess I'm not now because I don't think that <laughs> I don't think it'll go now. But I wonder if I did it from the back. No. The point was, is I was going to put the stitched with whimsy all the way around it because it would have kind of finished the card off nicely there. But I forgot because it was sitting over there. And I didn't make one of these ahead of time either. This one, I was just kind of winging it. So I had the International Women's Day. And what I do, I'll show you what I do because I have a few minutes here. I'm going to show you what I do when I'm trying to pick I'm going to show you my process for what I did to pick this. Slip you into the right spot. There we go. Get that glue off there. Oh, don't you slide too much. Careful, 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 careful. Okay, you sit there like a good a good little card and don't move. Oh, wait. We got a little bit of this sticking up under here. A little bit of the a little bit of the water sticking up. And you could have um splattered this too. And you could even, now that it's done, you could even still splatter it with some water if you wanted to because it's going to create a little bit of variation there. I really want you to distress the edges, Cindy. Oh, well. I've already glued it on my background, Miss Judy. What was I doing? Oh, yes, that's right. Okay, so if you have not seen um, how... I have a video called How I Store and Catalog My Massive Amount of Stamps. And... I say massive amount because these are my stamps that are not, well, some in here are stamping up, but I mean, it, it just, it goes on for days. This is a two inch, and then I have a three inch for all my stamping up ones, which I'm not even gonna go through that. So I had to make a new one because these are gonna be current. So if you go to that video, just on my YouTube channel. I'll try to remember to link it after for you guys, but I have a um, list as well. It'll link you to my blog and these, I should link these for you guys. I didn't know back in the day when I first got these that you could put them in your printer because you can go to avery.ca or .com wherever you live and you can bring up the template and type on them. The other ones I've written on and then the um, dividers are too short because the page protectors hide this but I cut them off and then with two-sided tape, I put the letters on the actual page protector. And my other binder, that binder's been going since, oh my God, since I lived in the States. And that was before Adam was a cowboy. It's, yeah, but do love the card. thank you, Miss Deb. That's probably more than 15 years ago anyway. And they don't come off. They're good. But my, my process here, okay is I knew it was International Women's Day. So I was thinking, okay, I don't want animals, obviously. So I went into my women, or people, if you will. I'm so zoomed in here. Oh, this way. That's better. So I just go through it, and I'm looking for something that seems like it's empowering for women. This one would be a good one. You know what I mean? Like you're my favorite, you know, my favorite girly pal, it's a pal of Women's Day. So I just kind of went through and it, I don't even think of so this. Organized. Oh, thank you. She loves your kids. You're so organized. Too bad, I she have, doesn't, too bad she doesn't really know you. I have to tell you a secret, Kelly, but, but nobody else listen. Cause I'm only telling Kelly. Okay. I could spend all day organizing like I think I buy stuff just so I can organize it <laughs> I mean I am like an organization hound I love it anyway I'm gonna send so, a picture of the, the spare bedroom. oh they've already seen the spare bedroom it's on the vlog channel it's on our other channel I showed you guys but anyhow so it wasn't even me that thought of this I was uh I was stamping and somebody else was like oh the um the I'm pretty sure that's how it went. I can't even say for sure, but her. And I was like, yeah. And the sentiment on it even says, stay, stay strong, you've got this. So then on the inside, 
I did You're Not Alone. And the only reason is, is because it kind of works two ways. I'm going to do another sentiment, but these end up on Etsy. So I'll do another one that'll have some kind of other thing in it. But you can use it for International Women's Day. Or this is just a really good inspiration for a card for a girlfriend that might be struggling or, you know, just not having a great time of it. Um, I remember I sent a card off not so long ago, a few months back to someone that I knew was kind of struggling and um, when they got it, it just totally made their day and it, it kind of got me emotional when they told me how emotional it made them. So, you know, that's why we make these cards. So that's what the Thursday is all about. Fun reasons to make cards. We got International Women's Day is on March 23rd. And again, Employee Appreciation Day is on March 4th. If you make a card for an employee or your International Women's Day, run over to my Facebook group. It's linked below. Please share it. Just upload it and say, I made this after I watched your video. If you know how to link the video, go ahead and do that. If you don't, I'll link it for you if I have a second. But inspire everybody else too, right? So Yvonne is trying to get organized. I am Deborah done. Says, her husband says I buy supplies just to collect. Whose husband says they buy supplies just to collect? Deborah Cor Corkia. Okay, my husband says I buy supplies. <laughs> totally. Yes. And this is this is true with single women. Yeah. Sure. Well, I I have a business. I have an excuse. And it was like we. I was stamping the other day, and the doorbell went rang, and I'm like, oh, I gotta go. My boyfriend's here. <laughs> I went running and I could hear the girls laughing like as I was running down the hall. It's like, oh my God, her boyfriend's here. But yeah, they're always here bringing me stuff. And wait until you guys see. Oh, I didn't even tell you yet. You have no idea. I can't even tell you. I can't even give you a crumb because he's here. <laughs> he's going to see that in 10 seconds. But I have got the you guys think that my unboxings have been great in the past. I just picked up an entire system of something that I don't have. And I am so stupid excited to get it. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. So I will definitely be doing a video on that. So bear with me over the course of the next week. If I don't get my content out, I'm trying to get moved. I don't see me editing a video for Sunday. I'm sorry. But... I will get I will get back on track in a week. So until I see you guys again, Todd, do you want to holler good night? Good night. Thank you for joining us. And until I see you again, take care and happy stamping.